We are talking lipsticks today, specifically Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. I have more than 30 of them that I am going to swatch on my lips today. This is going to be one of my, you know, full collection videos that you can go back and look to all the time if you're looking for particular shades. Some of these shades may not be in existence anymore because I've had them for quite some time. And uh, let's just go ahead and get started. So, like I said, Charlotte Tilbury. I will have to tell you that back in the day when Charlotte Tilbury was hard to find in retail stores, in fact, the only place I could find it, I was living in DC at the time, was in Chicago at the Nordstrom. I was a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan, and I am still a Charlotte Tilbury fan, but her pillow talk has become ubiquitous, everybody has copied it, she has collections launch left and right, and so I have been, I admit, less inclined to pick up all Charlotte Tilbury. Like I'm more like, I, you know, I sort of pick and choose. I do have her uh, matte wand blush in Pillow Talk on my cheeks today. I also have on her highlighter on my cheeks today, the wand. I do love that product, the wand products that she has, whether it's the matte blush, the highlighting blush, the contour, they're all really good. In fact, I keep them in my talk drawer. I have the, the, the contours, the highlighters, the blushes. It's a really well-made product, easy to use. The only thing I will say is that sometimes they can leak a little bit. Other than that though, I think they're phenomenally good products. And in the beginning, her lipsticks, especially her matte lipsticks were revolutionary to me because I could never wear a matte lipsticks. My lips were just way too dry, but her matte lipsticks worked for me. Like they, they're, they were the matte lipsticks that I could wear. Since those days though, it's much harder to tell, frankly, anymore, which ones are matte and which ones are the kissing formula by the shape. Because she has ones, and I will get into this, but she has lipsticks that are like the hot lips, which come in like the unique type of packaging, which are satin formula, but they have the shape of a matte lipstick. Because in the beginning, her matte lipsticks had a unique shape and the satins had a unique shape, so that's how you could tell. And when you look at the bottom of the packaging on the lipstick itself, it doesn't say, at least mine don't. So I think I'm separating this into matte satins and otherwise, but if something's mixed up in between, like I'll just say, oh, this happens to be a matte, or this happens to be a uh, satin, I'm sorry. <laughs> First, let's talk about what's on my lips. What's on my lips right now is the Hyaluronic Happy Kiss lipstick. And I have this, this one I think is, let me just pull out which shade I have. Okay, so the one I have on my lips is Pillow Talk. It's a great shade. These are click ups. They're very much like the By Terry, the Sicily, there's a bunch of them that have this like the, the Hermes, the Revlons that I love. Very creamy, very comfortable on the lips. They are, um, an acid, a hyaluronic acid infused hydrating lipstick balm. They are sheer, but they are beautiful. And I really love these, except for two things. One, they don't click back down. So you click them up and you click them up too far, you're out of luck. Like, <laughs> that's the first thing. Um, and then the second thing, they're just, uh, they're, they were always sold out when I was looking for them. I have Pillow Talk and I have Happy Petal. So I have Pillow Talk on now and I'll put Happy Petal on in a minute. But there are 10 shades, and right now on their site, five of them are sold out. So, yeah, I always had problems, like, finding them. That was the thing, and so it kind of annoyed me. I will probably buy more of these, though. The thing I don't like about them is that they don't clip back down. That That is the bigger problem for me. These do not last. These are hyaluronic lips. They, they're comforting. They're, you know, easy to wear. They're sheer. I do think the finish is beautiful. I do think it looks a lot like the By Terry Hyaluronic ones, which I love. I have all six of those. Um, the Lip, Lip Chics by Chantecai. The Revlon Shine lipsticks, which by the way, like I said, they are phenomenally good. They have the same kind of finish. Really hard to find. I, I do have an Amazon link that I could put in this video if you want to see them, but they're, they're, they're either being discontinued or something's happening with supply chain because I cannot find them anywhere. But this is a beautiful shade. I really like these. Um, and I think like nobody ever talks about these, but it's a really good product by Charlotte Tilbury. All right, let me go to the Happy Petal. These come off really easily, by the way. They're 
like I said, their share. And here's happy petal, but again, like you push it up and you can't push it back down. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, it's gorgeous, it's a gorgeous lip. Again, I can't put it back down, which is annoying, but it's actually more pigmented when it says sheer. Yes, they're sheer, but that's like more than enough pigment for me. Happy Petal is one of my favorite sh uh, shades. It's out of stock on the Charlotte Tilbury site. Pillow Talk is also out of stock on the, on the, on the site. Uh, Crystal Happy Kiss is there. Enchanting Kiss is, 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 out, of, is out of stock. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, they're impossible to find. Um, Romance Kiss, Passion Kiss, some of the deeper shades are still in, shot, in stock. Um, Happy Peach is there. I might try that one. But if they're ever in stock again, I definitely will pick these up because I really like them. I think they are beautiful on the lips. They feel incredibly comfortable. I have to say, like, these are almost like a balm, like, well, they are a balm, but they are like a hyaluronic balm with like relatively, in my opinion, more pigment than a lot of these types are. And I think they feel and look great. They're just hard to get. And the clicking thing back down does annoy me. But other than that, I really like these. Those are $35, by the way, just so we don't, it's important to mention the price. Um, okay, so the next thing I wanna mention, and because I only have two of these as well, I want to find, I'm looking for the name of them. They are limited edition. They were limited edition. Superstar lips. They, um, there's something that actually says back in stock and then they're sold out, <laughs> which is funny. Um, but there's some. They have uh, Everlasting Kiss, which, which is discontinued. Pillow Talk, which is out of stock. Sexy Lips, Walk of No Shame. And Confident Lips, which was also discontinued. Interesting. Um, so the shades that I have are very small. I'm pretty sure one of them is Pillow Talk. There's a reason Pillow Talk is ubiquitous. Yes, Pillow Talk Diamonds and Pillow Talk. So the Pillow Talk Diamonds has, it's more of like a shiny gloss. And then Pillow Talk is, here's Pillow Talk, here's Pillow Talk Diamonds. The diamonds, you know, looks like they say diamonds because you get that, you know, you get the shine. You get the shine. Uh, let me put on the diamonds first because it's just the easiest because it's really light. And then we'll put the pillow talk on. All right, let's do the diamonds first. It is very pretty. It's kind of like a rose gold shine, shiny diamond. I'm pretty sure limited edition and doesn't look like it exists anymore. And I have glitter left in my face from that. That's interesting. All right, now the pillow talk. These are considered a glossy lipstick, also $35, obviously a lot less in a tube because they are very thin, not as pigmented. All right, so next what I'm gonna do is go to the ones that I think are all mattes. I think these are all mattes. And what I'll try to do is like, as I put it on, I'll try to check the website and see if that is indeed what they are. Um, now I have some here that are like really old. So as I go through these, we might be doing some decluttering as well because I don't know if these are all still good. All right, let's start with the shade that I think is my lightest shade, which is Cover Star under the Super Nudes Matte Revolution shade. Super creamy matte. These mattes, like I said, are one of the reasons I got into Charlotte Tilbury because I can wear these mattes because they're super creamy. They actually remind me a lot of the Byredo, which is interesting. But as you can see, this shade completely washes me out. This is a shade that is the shade of my skin, but warmer. So what I do with this shade, and, I, and this is how I generally wear it, is with a pinker, pillow talk often, liner, or if I wanna go something like more like brown neutral, I do you know like a brown shade, like chestnut or um, spice in MAC, or um, uh, brune nude in, in uh, Chanel, or fig in Dior, which has a little bit of coolness to it. That is cover star, it is like I said, it's like a tan beige. It's really comfortable matte. Let's see. This is called 
Kidman's Kiss. It's a rose petal pink. It's out of stock. Absolutely as described, rose petal pink. All right, let's see this one. This is Super Cindy. It's a muted taupe nude lipstick. Again, matte. I've had this shade for a long time. I think this one was named after Cindy Crawford. Pretty sure. I'd say taupe nude is a good description. It's a little cool, but it has that taupey shade. It's a very good nude for me if I want something that's like in line with my skin tone but doesn't completely wash me out. Okay, we have Very Victoria. Again, matte. This is considered a taupe nude. Similar to Cindy, little warmer, a little deeper. Great for a very neutral nude look. Very 90s. We got 90s lips, we got uh, 80s blush. It's... Everything old is new again, right? All right, so we have Secret Salma, which is a deep rose plum. This does have more of like a plummy undertone, like a little bit of a purple undertone. It goes more pink on me because like I think things go cooler on me, but it does have like that plummy shade. We have Pillow Talk Medium. And this is the iconic matte berry pink lipstick, but a little bit deeper. Okay, let's go to, this is super fabulous. This is a deep rose brown. It's a great rosy brown shade. It is deeper than I generally wear, but it's a really nice shade. Again, the formulas, these mattes are incredibly creamy and really comfortable. All right, we have Bond Girl, which is now called M.I. Kiss. This is considered a berry red matte. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I'd say berry. This used to be my, one of my favorite shades. I wore this a lot. Okay, we have Mrs. Kisses. It's got the little lips on it. This is a golden peachy pink. I don't really see the golden in here, but I definitely see peachy pink. And it's got a really nice warmth to it that livens up the skin a little bit so it doesn't, you know, wash you out. I like Mrs. Kisses a lot. I think that's a really good shade. Okay, next we have Walk of Shame, which is now Walk of No Shame. A great shade. This is a berry rose, and I love this for a deep shade. It's not, like, it's a berry rose, so it's not red. It's not purple. It's a great shade. And if I'm going to wear a deep shade, this is the kind of lipsticks that I'm going to use because I'm not going to transfer it everywhere. This is not transfer proof lipstick, but it's not so shiny and like glossy that it goes all over your face. Next is Tell Laura. This is an orange red. This is a very, very bright lipstick. And I actually have only worn this like once or twice. To me, this always screams like an island getaway lipstick. I'm not exactly sure why, but I always think of it as like you're out in a, like a beach community. I don't know, island of Capri or something, and you have a big hat and a tan and this lipstick. Anyway, <laughs> this is Tell Laura. That is not a shade that's easy to get off. Uh, last but not least, in these traditional looking matte lipsticks, here's Pillow Talk. Pillow Talk is just, I mean, I know why she has so many Pillow Talk things. Pillow Talk blushes, Pillow Talk 
you know, highlighters, it's just a really good shade. Now on me, yes, it does kind of blend in my skin tone. It's actually very close to my skin tone, but if I use a little bit of a brown liner with this, it's the perfect nude because it's pinky, but it has a little bit of a brown undertone. It's nude for me and people who are paler than me can wear it. People who are deeper than me can wear it. Of course, there's now Pillow Talk, Medium and Pillow Talk Intense, which I did use on my lips as well, which work for, for deeper skin tones. But I think you can see that, like, you can see why this took off and became so popular. Okay, now I have two that I'm pretty sure are mattes, um, but they don't exist anymore. I'm pretty sure these are mattes, almost positive. We're about to find out. One is Only Muse and the other is Walk of a Star. And they came in these like, I know these were limited edition. They're like the um, stripe packaging, but it's red and gold. And they look like the matte lipstick shape. But some look like the matte lipstick shape and aren't. They're hot lips, which is a different thing. Um, so this is only Muse. Are these refillable? Yes, these are the refillable ones, the cases. So you could put any of the refills in here. Um, they look like the hot lips cases. And they, they, I think they're matte. The reason it's hard to tell is because her mattes are so creamy. Sometimes it's difficult to tell until you put it on the lip. Um, and then Walk of a Star. So Walk of a Star is like the purpley shade and then Only Muse is like that autumn shade. So we'll use that one first. That's my favorite. Yep, they are matte. This is matte. Um, and it's, it's just a really gorgeous, um, almost, it has like a little bit of a pumpkin, but like a cool pumpkin shade. You can see it right there. It's just a really pretty, pretty shade. And then Walk of a Star. I feel like I did a video on these last year when they came out. So I'll go back and look. I think they're mattes. They feel like they're her mattes, like, but they're very creamy. It's It has more of like a berry tone, but it's a really pretty shade. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the hot lips that I think are all satiny, uh, and then the kissing formulas. Let's start with Sweet Blossom. This came out in the like crystal and studded like red packaging. I think this was a Valentine's Day limited exclusive. This is such the perfect peachy pink with a little bit of warmth. This is a beautiful shade. Like I said, I don't think it exists. Um, you might be able to find it on secondary markets, but it's Sweet Blossom and it's gorgeous. I don't know why all the like ones that, that get discontinued or limited edition always seem to be like the best shades. I don't know why that is. This is In Love with Olivia. It is a pink lipstick and this is in this black and gold case. Again, these are all the refillable ones. Although this is a pink lipstick, this has a little bit of apricot in it, which I actually think looks really nice on me. By itself, it's a little light because it kind of, you know, blends a little. But again, with a, with a little bit of a deeper liner, especially a brown liner, I love this shade. This one is JK Magic, which is a peachy nude with a little bit of rose. Again, if you're looking for like a nice nude shade, for me, I need to wear this with a liner, otherwise this does wash me out. Um, unlike the Sweet Blossom or In Love with Olivia that are deep enough that they, you know, they contrast. But, but on a deeper skin tone, you're gonna see more of a contrast with this. Or if you're somebody who's even paler and you want a very pale lipstick, this is a great way to go. For me though, if I do a liner with it, it looks really nice. We have Nude Romance, which is a peachy nude, comes in the crystal studded case. Again, really good nude. Um, a little bit too, um, too light, too, uh, what's word I'm looking for? Too peachy to be great on its own. I think for my skin tone, I like it with a little bit of a liner because it does kind of blend a little bit, but for days that I'm just looking for something like very neutral, this is a good one. 
And last but not least in the Hot Lips is Glowing Gen. This is a tawny beach rose. And it's got the leopard packaging. It's funny, I really bought the shade for the name because there's not so many lipsticks with my name in it, Jennifer. But uh, I really like this color. It's like I said, it's rose, but it has a, the tawniness of it so that it's not too pink. Now let's move to the kissing regular packaging formula. Okay, the lightest shade I have is a pink beige nude. This is Kim KW. As you can see, this makes my lips look almost like white. It is, it is very light. It's like a babyest, babyest of pink. It's almost the exact same color as my skin tone. So the way I wear this one is with a brown liner, usually like a chocolate brown liner, and I use this with it. And when I do that, I think it looks really nice. Like I love this with, um, oh my goodness, I forgot the, I'll put it underneath. It's the, the, the Tom Ford liner. Mm. Anyway, it's, a, it's Tom Ford liner, it's very brown, and I put this over it, and then the Pearl Lip Gloss from MAC, Love that. But it's by itself, it's baby, baby pink. Okay, the next one is Valentine. I did not see this anywhere, so I'm hoping this is a satin. It may be. It could be a matte. No, it feels more like a satin. So I do not see this on the Charlotte Tilbury site. So I'm going to guess it was a special edition. But... It's a little deeper than the Kim KW. Not by much though. It's, it's a little bit pinker, a little bit deeper. All right, the next shade is Witch Perfect, but replace the W with a B. I'm not sure if children are watching, so I'll just stay on the safe side. Um, it is a nude toned peach. Again, very light, but this has more of that peach, definitely it's a peach toned instead of the pink tones of the K, um, Kim KW or the Valentine. And it shows out of stock on the Charlotte Tilbury website, but at least like it exists. Unlike the Valentine, that's not even there. Okay, now we have Hepburn Honey, which is now Yes Honey. This is a light peach, and I've used a lot of this lipstick. That's all that's left of it. Um, very much a nude uh, lipstick in line with my coloring. It's a little bit warmer than my skin tone, but again, something that I use with a with a deeper liner, and you know keeps the lips nude, but I I have a liner that doesn't so that it doesn't wash me out. When looking for like a nude neutral liner and uh, lipstick, it's hard because a lot of times there's a fine line between something that is the exact same color of your skin, skin tone, and it washing you out and making you look tired or ill, uh, and having that neutral look with a deep eye. Like that, that sometimes is hard to, to find, uh, which is why I have a lot of uh, lipsticks that I used with uh, liners. Okay. Stoned Rose is a warm, warm coral rose shade. Very flattering coral, I think. I, I think Stoned Rose is a shade that gets overlooked a lot. It's a really pretty shade. We have Runway Royalty. This is one of the super nudes, which I believe is online only. And it is a soft rosy peach. Again washes me out, but it's great with, it's great with the liner. I tend to like shades that are very similar to my skin tone, but a little pinker or a little browner or a little warmer or a little more peachy. And then I can mix it with a, a deeper liner because I tend to go with those neutral shades on my lips and like play up my eyes more. I tend not to wear bright shades on my lips 
It's just something that I just generally don't do. Although every time I wear a bright shade on my lip, everyone really likes it, so it's kind of fun. All right, the next is American Sweetheart, which again, I don't think exists. I couldn't find it on the site. This I'd say, it's a coral shade. It's like a peachy coral shade. It's very pretty. It's a little bit lighter um, and has a little bit more shimmer to it. All right, we have Live It Up, which is a pale pink. Yeah, this is like a bright poppy pink. All right, we have Pillow Talk 3. This is Pillow Talk Intense. This is the Kissing Formula, and this is a Deep Berry Rose. I think this is a really pretty shade. Uh, I know it can look a little intimidating for somebody who has like a deeper skin tone, but I think it's a gorgeous berry, and it has a really nice brown undertone that looks, I think, really good. Okay, we have Island Dream, which is a sun-kissed coral. Um, this is the kissing formula. It's got the little lips on it. This is one of the newer shades. Gorgeous shade, really beautiful. It is a coral, but it's got like a coral brown. Really beautiful shade. In fact, I really should wear this more often. And the last shade is Super Nude, which I also could not find um, on the site. So this must have been a limited edition as well. This I saved for last for the, um, I think it's the Kissing Formula, is one of my favorite shades from Charlotte Tilbury. Of course, it's non-existent. Um, it's a good pinky brown, but enough that it gives me contrast and it doesn't wash me out. And I love this shade. And if I put on this with like a little bit of liner, I actually don't need a lot of liner with this one because it actually is a great contrast for me. It's just a per like, it's a perfect deeper nude for me. It's a super nude. Um, in fact, of the kissing formulas, which I think are the kissing formulas, because there's the kissing formula and the hot lips formula. They're all like more moisturizing though. Um, my favorites are Island Dream and Super Nude, the last two that I used, and they have the little um, Swarovski or crystals on top of the packaging. Different from the rest of the, the kissing formulas that have just the regular tops. And then the other shades that are tend to be my favorite are the hot lips ones um, in their refillable packaging. There is of course a bunch of, of mattes that I really do like, that I use a lot. Hopefully you found a shade today that works for you, that you like and you wanna go out and get and that you can find. Um, and it just reminds me of how much I really do like the Charlotte Tilbury formula. Um, the mattes are, are easy to use and probably the one of the better mattes out on the market. The hyaluronic, lips. I really love that formula. I just wish it could click back down. And uh, the kissing formula and the hot lips, like I think they calls it like moisturizing formula. I really like them. And the shades are usually the shades that I like because they are more like pinky browns or warm corals. And you know, they're shades that I love to wear. So I, I have a lot of Charlotte Tilbury because the shades are right up my alley. They're exactly what I like. And uh, I love the formula for most of these. So, you know, it's not surprising that I have as many as I do. And I, I've tried not to buy as many like releases that have come out, you know, recently when they come out with like, the one or two lipsticks. But the thing is, I think that what ends up happening is they are like, some are limited edition then you never see them again. And some of the ones that are my favorites just, you know, don't exist anymore. So like this super nude. So if there's a shade out there that you think I absolutely uh, should try and I've missed today, certainly let me know. Certainly let me know what your favorites are. I'd be really interested in hearing. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it. And I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.